I'd like to look at Mahara and in particular to look at collections and access to collections. So I'm going to click on the Mahara link and now I'm going to click on views and a collection over here, collection, is a series of views and if you just think of views as web pages and I'll just show you an example. So this here, making a mug of coffee. Okay, so this is basically, this is what Mahara refers to as a view but you could also just consider it to be a web page. So I'm going to go back and now I'm going to show you an example of a collection. I can click here on my collection and if I click this link here you can see that this again looks like a regular web page but when I go further up here I've got tabs and these tabs link to other web pages or other views and together they form a collection. So I'm going to show you now how to create a collection from a series of views. So if I just go back and click on view. Okay, so um, I need to start by clicking on my collections and I'm going to create a new collection and I'm going to call it ESOL interview and I'm going to call put here Okay, great. So now I'm just going to click next and I'd like to include my CV and I'd like to include this step-by-step -step guide to making a mug of coffee. So I'm going to add those. You can see that they've come up here. Now I'm going to just click next to edit the collection access. Now this is something you can skip if you want to but if you do, only you will have access to your collection. If you want to make it available to other people, then you will need to uh, you'll need to assign those other people. So I would like Beth to be able to access my collection. So I'm just going to do a search for her. Okay, here we go. So I'm going to add Beth, and I'm going to say that I'd like her to be able to access it from today. Um, until, so if I hold down, let's see, if I hold down here, I can set it to November, November 2012. So that means she's going to be able to see it for quite a long time. So I'm happy with that. Um, and yeah, so that's basically how you add people give them permission to see your views and you could simply click here to add all your friends to give them permission or to click add logged in all users. So yeah that is how to create a collection and to give access to a collection. So I'll just click save and, and there we go that's it.